Hi, I'm Brick Road. This is, I don't know, some pony game I found. Um, I just wanted to field a quick question that I got in a private message on YouTube, and I felt it deserved a public answer. It's a, a subject that's been broached a couple times before, and it's a, a suggestion that I've gotten um, from some of my subscribers and some of my friends over the years I've been Let's Playing, and the question is, why don't I Let's Play games with Peanut, uh, who is my wife, here on YouTube? And that was dumb. I'll just jump down in that hole and lose my pony life. Um, the answer is actually really simple, <laughs> and it's like, the reason that Peanut does not feature in any of my Let's Plays um, as a commentator or a co-player or anything like that is, uh, she's just not a gamer. <laughs> Guys, she just, um, like, I mean, she tears up some Spider Solitaire, you know, some Bejeweled on her iPad, um, and I'm pretty sure she's completed all of the Professor Layton games at this point, but she doesn't share my passion for games. She shares a lot of my other passions, which is why we are such a compatible match and why we are happily married. Um, but gaming is just not her forte. And part of what makes a Let's Play channel really work, in my opinion, other than do a Google search for the first Flash Pony game and play it at random for no reason, is you really have to enjoy the games you're playing. Otherwise, the commentary doesn't work, and the videos don't work, and nothing about it works. So, the magical day may come where, you know, Peanut is passionate enough about a game to want to join me and play on YouTube channel. Um, but if it does not come, that's okay, too. Because um, this is kind of my hobby, this is like my thing, and she understands that, and for the most part, she kind of stays out of it. And what I want to say now, though, is that having been said, Peanut is, even though she... I don't even think she subscribes to the channel, to be honest. Um, but she really is my number one supporter. Like, I don't know too many dudes whose wives would, like, tolerate and embrace this crazy hobby that I have where I play Nintendo games on YouTube. And it eats up so much of my spare time for what is... What must look to an outside viewer for, like, very little gain, but, like, I get a lot out of it, and so Peanut understands that I get a lot out of it, and so she's very supportive of what I do here and on Twitch and in the Talking Time races and things like that, and she's so cool about it, and I'm so thankful and so grateful for it. In a way, there would not be no Brick Road's Ridiculous Nonsense channel without her, because, like, I don't even really know how to describe it. It's something that's... You feel for yourself when you are young and in love with Nintendo, and you have a woman in your life who tolerates that love. So, I feel like in a lot of ways that, in a relationship like this, it is kind of a three-way thing between you and your partner, and all of the things that your partner loves and cares about, but you don't. Like, you have to give them a lot of space to enjoy the things in life that they are not in particularly enamored with. For example, a 31-year-old man-child who plays video games for the YouTube masses is not exactly the kind of thing that sets most of the ladies' hearts aflutter, but Peanut is very cool about it and very supportive with it, and I am very grateful for that. So, while you will probably not be seeing any Brick and Peanut co-op Let's Plays here in the future, you should be aware that... Nonetheless, Peanut is a very big part of this channel because she's a very big part of my life. And that's all I wanted to say to you guys today. Um, I'm going to quit playing this game. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely nonsense. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.